so it's really hot today. Uh, time to do some joy. <laughs> So that was just like a sort of like pre-drawing, workout drawing, if you know, like warm up drawing or whatever you want to call it. Um, just really quick, loose, um, similar to the stuff that I always create. I'm going to put that aside for a moment, um, possibly return to it or maybe do some bits off camera and then I'll show you bits. But yeah, for now I'm done with that one. I'm going to start another piece but I think I'm gonna do a paint sketch again but I'm gonna try and let me come up with something let me put it sideways for a change put that over there and just see what I can create I think <laughs>
back and everything uh, with ink pens. Um, got, gonna be quite sketchy with this sharpie, really. So I just need all these. These are like little, like I don't know, like feeder teeth or something, something like that. Just make it up as we go along. <laughs> Always do. This needs to be more darker. It's going to be a bit sketchy when you're using this, I think. It's not going over the uh, drawing too well. So, yeah, I'll probably have to use the black drawing. This area has to be black because obviously I want to draw some eyes on this creature. to turn grey some some places as it thins out. So the, the end of the sort of this creature is sort of like a bit like an earwig or whatever you call it. Um, but I don't know. I just made it up. I don't, I don't particularly like the placement that I painted at. But it's only a quick sketch, so it's the way it goes sometimes. Get some darker little shades of grey here and there, just on the underneath of the legs. Of course, I will be outlining quite a bit with ink markers and stuff like that, but it's good just to add a, a thinner layer of grey underneath. it with the, the black I think let wait for that to dry and then I'll use some ink pens and we'll try and focus on this a lot more it's time to add some um, just some thicker ink lines here and there as well um, so I'm going to try and flesh out this creature drawing a little bit more Using this brush pen just to create some thicker marks. It'll hopefully help define the legs as well, at least as well in the body as well. 
And the body, I wanted it to be more like, appear like, not like armor, but you know, like, on bugs, they have like, um, it appears it's like armor, but it's not. It's like a shell or something. I just wanted to have that sort of appearance. So maybe try and uh, do a bit of that. I could fill it all in later. I mean, it's roughly there, and then at the side, it's got like um, maybe like the fleshy bits just hanging out the side. Probably won't see it on that back bit there, but. And then this, this bit would be. Um, sort of like appear like armoured as well um, some kind of defence thing, I don't know possibly stingers which I could put maybe like red spikes on or something like that I don't know just making it up as we go along said some kind of fleshy bits here just a little bit there yeah it all seems to come together once you start to wink stuff so just zoomed in to show you a detail of one leg uh, it's gonna be pretty much the same I dropped this pen and it's so I've like got a wonky tip on the end, which I don't think you can see. Uh, possibly not. But yeah, it's annoying that when it happens. But it still works, so I'm still using it. Might as well. So yeah, I'll just focus on one leg for now, and then I can do the rest later. But it's pretty much like sketchy details, like um, I've done pretty much before. Try and follow some of the grey colour, because uh, that's the darker bit, you know, the the darker grey um, that I've painted there, and just use that as a guideline, just to do the darker elements, really. Do a thin outline on the top of the leg, and just try and follow exactly all the sort of paintbrush details as well even like the little mess up bits I might as well just ink them as well just add something extra to it also I'm sort of um, thinking at the back of my mind how is this thing stood up um, I'm guessing these front two legs are like not, not like standard feet as we know them, they're more like um, inward like claw type things so they'll probably stand on them and then the top two legs attack and then they sting you know the stinger things can sting you know if maybe it's like grabbed hold of it or something something I don't know <laughs> grabbed hold of it's whatever it's gonna eat or I don't know to be honest so yeah it's just a sketch. <laughs> I don't really think too much about it. I just try and um, come up with the ideas and then try and add the details later. Any sort of painted lines or something that's uh, different tones or something, I just try and follow them. Um, wherever possible really just go with it So 
So I've been doing this method uh, for a while now. Uh, I just, I just think, uh, I just think it's a good method to do. You know, loose paint sketching and then tighten everything down later on. It's, it's a good way of working actually. So uh, I will be doing this a lot more. Excuse me. Just I'm aware that I need to be trying to do different things. So I am working on it. Maybe draw some different things away from horror as well, which is going to be a bit of a stretch, but it should be fun to try and draw some other stuff. I haven't decided what yet, but I'll work on it. So yeah, just mainly inking this section here really. Um, probably won't do all of it because it is going to take a while. So got that section of leg there which splits off and then it's got this other leg there. Sort of matches on the other side, but that'll be a bit behind there, so yeah, it's near enough, near enough working out uh, how I intended anyway. So what I'll do is I'll just ink all the rest, all the outline, and then we'll come back and see what else I can add to it. Definitely the eyeballs, but I don't want them, I think there's going to be two eyeballs at the side. I don't know if, we could have like loads of eyeballs, like... I did with the spiders and other stuff. Not too sure, but I definitely like I like the body of the way it's, it's loosely sketched in with paint, and then I, you know I'm just still working out the form of the thing really. But that's that's the fun part. So yeah, we're just going to ink the rest, the all the outlines and everything. We'll come back and try and add a bit more to it. So I've like inked all the outlines, the major outlines. Um, I'm sort of like happy with the colouring, but it could do with a bit more. There was a bit of yellow mixed in with the old water. Um, that's why that looks a bit yellow. <laughs> I didn't change the water. But it's given me an idea of just trying to change it so it looks slightly light green. Um, just maybe, I don't know, on the arm a bit and the beginnings of the legs and then it just fades out to grey. Perhaps I've just inked um, some rough eyes for there. I'm um, still not sure if it needs more eyeballs, but we'll see. I think red eyes will suit this one. Um, but yeah, I'm just going to get some green, some lighter green. And we'll thin it down a little bit and try and add a bit of this to our drawing. So I think that's a bit too thin. Try and get a bit more on there. There we go. It's a bit better. Try and thin that down a little bit more. Spread it. And just try and spread it all over there. said I wanted a bit on the beginning of the legs but I want to try and thin that out a bit more yeah I think that's right here we go it sort of fades out as it gets a bit further down the legs Perhaps I'll just add a bit of green on the top bit there, just to green it up slightly. So yeah, I quite like the green colour, and I quite like the grey as well, so we'll keep the grey there. Um, I'm going to try and, I don't know if this will go over the ink pen on the eyes, but I've got a bit of red. I'll just try and go over it. 
Ah, it does. Jolly good. It's a good idea doing that white before that. Um, I'll probably add some more eyeballs. I don't know. I'm going to think about it. And just try and do bits there. Here and there. I think there's going to be... That needs to be thinned out a bit more. Like a light pinky colour under the flesh there of the armour perhaps so I think that's a bit pinker than I'd like to be on there so I'm going to add some yellow to it just to sort of uh, bring it more warmer type colour um, just a little bit of yellow just to bring it back and it will provide a nice bright colour underneath still like fleshy colours but that's, that's what I was aiming for so they're really good these drawing inks I just I like them <laughs> I could use them um, quite a lot. In fact I will. We do a bit of yellow. You can almost glaze the colours. I'd like a brighter yellow to it. So I'm pretty much leaving that one as it is for now. Um, I still think it needs more eyeballs on that one. So um, I'll probably have just more, you know, I think about that. Um, I've just started to sketch something else, um, like a, a zombie um, illustration. Now what I want to do there is a finger, but it's, I did sketch it up way over there, but I didn't want it over there. I want it to be like hanging off. So I want it to be hanging off by like a couple of little thin f threads <laughs> and you know do the like the fingernail type thing perhaps so they might need a bit more working out but maybe I hang it from one little thread instead just to raise it might look a bit better yeah, so I've just got a bit more inking to do on this one, um, but that's another illustration that I'm working on. Classic zombie. Yeah, so there's that. And there's that other illustration wherever it is. So I did a bit more on this one, uh, not too much, because um, it was just a, a pre-warm-up type sketch. Um, yeah, so that's pretty much it really today. Um, battle through the heat and because it's quite sunny today and quite hot and sweating my tits off so yeah <laughs> um yeah i'll just leave the vlog there and cheers for watching and i'll see you in the next video cheers now